Hello the amazing viewers and subscribers and welcome to a brand new Doctor Who Big Finish Review. For this Big Finish Review, it is of course on Doctor Who The Two Masters. I absolutely loved listening to this audio. I mean, literally, I've got four pages of notes back to back of, of this audio and how good it is. It's absolutely brilliant. It's honestly a fantastic story. The Two Masters is generally a fantastic story. And I really enjoy listening to it. And I'm going to explain why. So talking about these these two incarnations of the Master. We have his past version of the Master. Played by Jeffrey Beavers. The Crispy Master. And of course we have Alex McQueen. Who's basically my favourite Master from Big Finish at the moment. Until I probably listen to... James Dolphus. I do need to listen to him. I'm hoping he's got some good performance. But I really love Alex McQueen's master. I really do get so many classic master vibes from him. And McCoy is just honestly brilliant. And of course, he's darker as well. This is the dark McCoy from season 26. He even progressed a lot darker as well. I just generally absolutely love this story. It's honestly oh, brilliant. Honestly, just brilliant. So the opening, to actually hear Alex McQueen as the master, it's just brilliant as it is in the Dark Eyes trilogy with Paul McGann. Now, I understand why, because in Dark Eyes, he actually says to the Doctor, oh, I was kind of expecting the short, gimpish one with the umbrella. And the Doctor goes, sorry to disappoint you. Um, So basically, this is before Alex McQueen meets Paul McGann's Doctor, but timelines-wise and stuff. I have to admit, this is just a superb story for these two well for these three rebel time lords so basically the future is dying all over the universe gaps are beginning to appear in the middle of the civil war the doctor chick comes face to face with two incarnations of the relegate time lord known as the master jeffney beavers is great once again now i've listened to jeffrey beavers is the incarnation of the master in the light of the end where his incarnation of the master comes across the 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th, 8th incarnations of the Doctor. Even the other three Doctors do basically come out of their own time streams to pile all eight TARDISes into collision with the Master's TARDIS at the end of that one. Honestly, I have to admit, I absolutely loved it. I mean, I absolutely loved the Master's line saying, Amazing, you... You you just go around saving people. I just killed them. Like, as he's gloating to the Doctor. Now, I'm going to say this as a point. It is absolutely brilliant to actually place this just before the D events of Doctor Who, the TV movie. Because we actually got the sound of the TARDIS console room from Doctor Who, the movie. And it's kind of got the Vortex sound as well that we get from 1996. So, you can actually picture it in your mind when you kind of listen to self Doctor Pilot, the TARDIS. It's basically like the TARDIS from the McCoy era. Wow. From the McGann, sort of McCoy slash McGann era, because the TV movie does start off with Sylvester, so you could say it's basically the part of McCoy's run, and then it, Paul McGann's Doctor just basically adopts it. But I really like the way how it listen, to actually listen to the audio, you actually got the sound of that 1996 TARDIS console room and the time vortex. It was honestly just superb and stuff, the way it listens to it. So the... So at this point, you've got the Doctor is literally being blamed for the, all the deaths and everything. The Master is using his TCE weapon, the Tissue Manipulator. And to actually listen to these two Masters use their signature weapon is absolutely just brilliant. It is such a shame that we actually do find out how Jeffrey Beaver's Master does become him in, in, in his big decaying form. Which I will explain a bit later on. But mainly in this story, it's Master versus Master. So the Doctor is caught up in the middle with, in this actual kind of like Master fight Master. So the Master, Jeffrey's Master does kill Gemma, um, J-E-M-I-M-A. -M -M he does actually kill her, you know, basically going to the Doctors because the Doctors there traveling and you've got Alex McQueen's Master trying to kill them and Jeffrey Beavers' master goes, no, 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 I'm gonna hey because it's basically just turned out because Jeffrey Beavers' master is actually caught in the decaying form of the master, and then you kind of have the Je Jeffrey Beavers' master inside Alex McQueen's mind of the master. I absolutely love it. I really do. To actually listen to 
this point where you kind of got the Time Lords coming in and they're like finding out what's going on. It's really great to hear Gallifrey and the talk back back as the Time Lords as well because the Time Lords are basically telling the Master, yeah, you need to go and kill your past self. Because the thing is though, if you kill your past self, it means you create a paradox, which really you shouldn't really go around doing, but brilliant. This is just absolutely superb. Two verses of the Master going at each other. Yes, Alex McQueen does basically make Jeffrey Beaver's incarnation the master go in his decaying form. Which basically he is found on the planet Tercerus. It does lead into the events of the deadly assassin for the decaying master, which was a Tom Baker story. So for this point of view, it's actually... I can say this. For Jeffrey Beaver's incarnation of the master, it literally takes place just before the deadly assassin and, of course, the Keeper of Trakum. And for McCoy, it just takes place before the TV movie. And for Alex McQueen's Master, it actually takes place before the events of Dark Eyes, which is really cool when you think about it. I have to admit, Alex's Master is under orders to kill his younger self. I really do enjoy the story. I have to admit, it's just absolutely superb. And um, got some good point of views. The actual installation music into it is actually quite a brilliant as well. To hear these three actors literally to throw banter at each other and stuff like these two masters where they both really just want to kill each other. And of course, you've got Alex McQueen Masters who is the future master. You've got Jeffrey Beavis' master who's basically the past master. And McCoy's basically just caught up in the middle. Honestly, if you don't haven't heard how good Doctor Who The Two Masters is, you really need to go and check it out because... This little audio is honestly a brilliant one and it does take place just before the 7th Doctor Who into his 8th incarnation. The way you kind of hear the TV movie TARDIS and you kind of have... The only thing I'm going to say that I was a little bit disappointed for for this one is the fact that we never actually got the damaged goods theme. Because I really think the damaged goods themes would have been good for literally this story because it means... Is at that point in the time where the Seventh Doctor is about to regenerate, you know, so damage have the damage good theme would have really made this one sound a bit more epic instead of the the Cafet theme, which is my favourite Doctor Who theme from Doc the TV series. So I would have loved to listen to the Dark Eyes theme at the beginning and the end for this one. It's four parts long as well. I do highly recommend this audio. It is superb. It is brilliant. It is fantastic. Jeffrey Beavers, Alex McQueen and Sylvester McCoy are all on top notch. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm meeting Sylvester McCoy in less than two weeks. I'm going to actually get him to sign this audio from Big Finish because I really loved it. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. I do like Alex McQueen's master. I do like Jeffrey Beavers' master. And it really wants me more from the two masters and more from McCoy. I really want them to do another story with either Alex McQueen Master with McCoy's Doctor once again or McCoy versus the Jeffrey Beavers Master. I think they've done quite a few, I'm not too sure. So yeah, so how do I rank this audio? Well, I have to admit, it's a 10 out of 10. I absolutely loved it. The two Masters is brilliant. And I did find out it is in the middle of a trilogy because you've got Jeffrey Beavers talking about the events when he bumped into the fifth Doctor in You Will and You Will Obey Me. I haven't got. And of course, the... Is it the vampiring of the master? Something like that. With, with Alex McQueen basically meeting with Colin Baker's doctor. So I do kind of want to get them to more now. so Because it's like a little bit of a trilogy. And to actually get the last story of the trilogy. And actually hear these two masters come across each other. Try to kill each other. And really it does literally lead into different points in time in the Doctor Who timeline for the seventh doctor it leads it sort of leads into the events of the tv movie when you kind of got the sound of the tires console room from the tv movie and for jeffrey beavers it literally takes place just before the key you know way before keeper truck and, and literally it's like this is the adventure before for the master's point of view before he is found and taken back to gallifrey in the deadly assassin because in the deadly assassin the king master is played by peter pratt but the role was actually took over by Jeffrey Beavers for the Keeper of Traken. And I have to admit, for the Decaying Master, this really does fit into that timeline really, really well. So this story, whopping 10 out of 10. I absolutely enjoyed it. It's brilliant. And 
it's absolutely fantastic and I do highly recommend it. So thank you for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, share and join for more awesome Doctor Who content.